Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Talk. This is the second episode of just me rambling, talking about me, myself, you guys, and just stuff I've been through lately, as terms things go. It's completely, again, unscripted, just me talking to you guys. Um, and I have a couple things to talk about, and something happened this morning that kind of add, added fuel to it, so yeah. Um... Let's go ahead and get to that. Uh, I, I love animals. I really do. I love animals. Um, love cats, dogs, you name it. Except for spiders. Fuck spiders. I don't even want to talk about spiders. Spiders are terrible. Terrible, terrible people. And yes, I said they're people because fuck those guys. Um, anyways, um, I, 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 have, I had a pet rabbit. And uh, I forget what kind of rabbit it was. And me and my fiance had it. And um, <laughs> last night, um, it started getting sick. I, I've been noticing it for a couple of days. It's just been kind of, um, just kind of been, you know, not acting like itself. Um, you know, it's well fed, well nourished. Um, you know, like to play around and everything. And um, last night, it was actually really weird. And, you know, I always give my rabbits, I, I, I clean my animals, I gave, gave it a bath, um, just to see if it kind of helped them out a little bit, um, just kind of put them in a little bit of warm-ish, kind of work cold and warm water, and um, it's kind of after I just wrapped him up in a blanket, just kind of hung out with him, and anyways, um, yeah, I didn't think anything was wrong, I just thought he was, you know, kind of a spell, but um, woke up this morning, and it was about six o'clock in the morning, and I saw her, and she just laying there on the floor, just kicking. I was like, "Oh my God, what's going on?" So I kind of watched her for a little bit, and she stabilized, and uh, I put her back in her cage. And next thing you know, it like I wake up. It's uh, I woke up probably about an hour ago, and she was stiff. She was she was gone. Um, her name was Lillian. We 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 had a we had an issue like. Trying to figure out what we wanted to name her. We just like, um, ah, shoot, Clementine. Uh, we called her Clementine for the longest time. And my fiance's like, we're going to call her Lillian. So, I, I don't know. I called her Clem. My fiance called her Lillian. And, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, yeah, she's dead now, which kind of sucks. And that's not the first animal that's died this week. Um, my mom's got a cat. Um, her na his name was Biscuit, Chef Biscuit, and uh, that's what my, my fiance calls it, Chef Biscuit, I just call it Biscuit, and um, <clears throat> I, I really like it. every time I go to that house, like her, my mom's house, um, you know, I play with that cat, I love that cat, <laughs> it's a good little cat, and I guess somebody dropped it off at her house, and um, which that really pisses me off when people just drop animals off on the side of the road for no fucking reason, just to get rid of them because they don't want to take care of or take responsibility and it just pisses me off like nothing else but um I said like uh my mom called me it was not my mom it was actually my sister uh she called me the other day and said you know biscuit got ran over and uh, he was still alive i guess but um other uh who was really really bad shape said so Usually when something like that happens, I guess his back got broken, but um, he died the next day. But that sucks. I love that cat, and <laughs> it's actually a sad, sad episode now. But I'm talking about the deaths of animals. I'm probably thinking, man, you shouldn't touch animals. But um, yeah, I, I don't know. I love animals, and I've got I've had my big cat Reptar for about. Um, I don't know, probably about five or six years. I was just petting him right there, so, um, and he's he's been my friend forever, and I don't know. I, I love animals, and I hate to see them die because I get it. I get attached like really, really easy to animals and stuff like that. But that really sucks. <laughs> that really sucks really bad. Um, another thing, um, the other day I um, I posted to uh, Boogie's uh, subreddit and. To the response I got, I got so many very nice people, um, super awesome things they said to me. They really liked my vid. Even Boogie himself said he liked it. Um, and, you know, it just made me feel really, really good and kind of 
brighten my day <laughs> for what it was, and uh, I don't know, like, I, I my, my channel is by far, it is really small, it's not as big as uh, it is, and I do like to treat it like one of the people said, like, there's a million people, I, I don't care if there's 10 people, I'm going to treat it as if it's, there's a million people on this channel, so, I mean, I love you guys, you guys are awesome, and if, if if it grows from if I only have ten people, you know, watching my videos, or if I have a million people watching my videos, I'm gonna treat it the same. I'm not gonna go out of the limb and be um, change my ways just because of that. I mean, the only thing it might change is the quality of the videos in terms of um, lighting and a camera or hardware I use. But no, I want to treat it like you know as professionally as I can and just be as sincere as I can because. You don't really see that much uh, in YouTube. Um, a lot of people just go going out for money, 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 money. It, it's it. Um, no, I, I I used to stream a lot. Uh, lately, I started a new schedule, and I haven't really been able to keep up with the schedule because you know I've been doing the YouTube stuff, been doing some stuff for the shop, uh, doing some stuff trying to keep catch up with bills and all the stuff just to where I'm unemployed. So. Being unemployed is terrible, by the way. Um, don't do it. It's it's terrible. It's a, it's a trap. Um, and I'm behind on a lot of stuff, so obviously that kind of affects things. And I'm on lots of medications and stuff for due to my health because, again, like I said before, I'm, I'm a big guy and I have no nobody running by myself. <laughs> and I'm working on it, still working on it. I get married in October. Um, October 17th, um, if anything, hopefully nothing goes bad at that time, but, um, I'm really excited about it, um, which that leads me to, um, at a happy note, um, since we talked about death and a little bit of unemployment and stuff, um, it's supposed, we already got to the happy stuff, I mean, some of the happy stuff's like, the, the response from you out, you awesome guys have been, you know, I got a few extra subscribers, got a really nice kind words from you guys, and <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Um, but I'm getting married in uh, October. I have always had problems like with relationships, like never lasting that long, and I finally have. Uh, I've been with um, my fiance. Her name's Nikki, or Veronica, whatever you want to call her. I call her awesome, um, or princess, whatever. I call her Nikki most of the time. But um, she's amazing. She's like my best friend in the whole world. I love her. Love her to death. And I'm surprised. I I'm actually shocked that um, I have somebody. But going. I I mean I I had a um, whenever I proposed her, it was awesome, which I might post that video, um, kind of later on, maybe, maybe after this, maybe like a side thing for you guys, um, of when we got, uh, engaged, it is awesome, um, she was just totally shocked, and how I did it is, um, my brother and my friend and her kind of share the same birthdays in the same time frame, maybe two or three days apart each, and, um, we all decided to go to a little uh, Japanese steakhouse in my town. It's called Taste Asia. And I invited, like, I've been planning this for, like, two weeks. I already bought the ring. Um, the ring was, like, almost, I, I'm not going to put a price on it. It was expensive. Stupid expensive. Um, I used to have a really nice job, so. Um, but um, we all went to... Uh, this thing and I invited like 20 30 people I think it was like 25 and she thought you know we're just gonna have a birthday party and it like we started you know we got there we ordered our food and our drinks and I went up to the um, waiter and I handed him this ring I was like hey I'm gonna trust you with this um, I was like there's three people it's got birthdays what I want you to do is like if you want can you bring out three cakes but give my brother, my friend, Derek Ix first, and say happy birthday. 
And what I want you to do is the third cake, I want you to, an ice cream, whatever it was, um, I want you to put on a plate. And I want you to put, will you marry me? And I want you to put the ring on the plate. So we got to, after dinner, drink stuff, we had got our desserts and stuff like that. People wanted to order. So the waiters came out and started saying happy birthday. And next thing you know, they gave my friend and my other friend their uh, cakes. And then they give Nikki the cake. Well, Nikki just looks down at it. She she thought it said happy birthday, and she didn't realize. It took her like a few seconds to click in, and when she got the second look, she's like, oh, my God. And there's a ring in front of her, and everybody's just staring at her, and I was fucking shivering, shaking. Um, I, I don't know, but she, good news, she said yes. So um, we have a couple things planned. We're hoping things don't get worse um in terms of uh the money thing because we we was planning on a pretty big wedding and um where i'm out of a job uh it might kind of put a dent on things but um i don't know we're working on it uh hoping i gotta get a tux tuxedos and stuff like that i'm not buying one to rent it but no it, it was really cool and um i don't know <laughs> If you guys have somebody special in your life, take care of them. Take care of them. Treat them, treat them with respect. Um, make them happy. I, I I will do anything in the world for Nikki, and um, it's true. I, I I mean I love the girl. She's my best friend, uh, best friend in the world. I love her, and I hope I hope you guys have the same thing in your life. If not. Best of luck. I mean, it, it, there's somebody out there for you. I had many, many bad, bad relationships before her. Like, the person I was with her before her cheated on me three times in my in a house that we was at. And she kind of, she stole a bunch of shit. And I don't know. She cheated with me, a guy that robbed a gas station with, it was either a pocket knife or a butter knife. Something retarded. And got put in prison for three years. And... He's an idiot. <laughs> so, I don't know. But anyways, guys, um, tell me what you're thankful for. Tell me what makes you happy. Um, I don't know. Anything. I And I, I would definitely appreciate it. Um, any, any likes or subscribes or anything. If, if you want to help this channel grow, you're more, more than welcome to it. And um, I'd like to do this... Um, new series every Thursday um, as if you missed it you can go back and watch Tuesday's episode of the game feed where I say um, pay my respects to uh, uh, Satoru Iwata as well as talk a little bit about um, Hideo Kojima and his name getting pulled from you know the Metal Gear um, I, I thought it was really good and hopefully uh, this weekend um, like I said I haven't had a chance to stream the last couple of days Actually, almost a week uh, since I had a full stream. Um, but hopefully this weekend, by Friday, um, I'll be streaming, if no issues come about, uh, some Origins. I'll be uh, unboxing maybe two or three boxes of Magic the Gathering Origins for my friends uh, at the Goblin Traders. Like I said, it's not sponsored. Uh, they... They helped me out and I helped them out, but it's not a sponsored thing. It's just me helping and them helping me. And um, I like to unbox things. I like taking things out of packages and opening them. And um, I love magic. I love the shit out of it. <laughs> so if you like Magic the Gathering, uh, check that out. I do have some past videos where I unbox things. And um, my loot crate should be coming in the next few days. And last loot crate, I got this pretty cool guy. So, and a really fucking awesome t-shirt, some other things, which I lost my keychain, but, uh, yeah, uh, keep an eye on how to do an unboxing and hopefully some more gameplay soon. So I hope you guys like, be sure to like, subscribe, and again, I love you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for stopping by.